Wyoming. Does anything else really need to be said? I mean, it's excitement. It's fast-paced. It's everywhere you want to be. Right? Right? Okay, that probably isn't the image you have of Wyoming. But why shouldn't it be? After all, there's plenty of excitement and adventure to be found. You can make things as fast-paced as you want, and you don't even need to look very far. Well, most of the people are familiar with the I-80 corridor, and so it is pretty much barren there, so they think it's a desolate place. But if you just get off the road a half an hour, you're right into the wilderness that people love. Take the small town of Mountain View, for example. It sits on Highway 414, quiet and quaint. It is the gateway to a much bigger world, however, one that proves Wyoming has a lot more to offer the outdoor enthusiast than just a boring drive along I-80. Today we're on the Dead Horse Trail. It's pretty much a natural ATV trail that goes up through the drainage here, just up on top of the Uinas. It takes you up on top. It will eventually tie into the uh, Bear River service up in Evanston. You can also go up around and head over to, towards Manila. You've got rocks, you've got tree roots, you've got everything you're going over. It's just like you would be riding out on the regular hillside, although you got two tracks. So it's actually pretty fun. Uh, you know, you got the bumps, it's not just a smooth sailing ride. It's a lot rockier and has a lot of stumps and ruts, and um, definitely it'll give you a bruising if you're not ready for it. For Colby Nebaker and Clayson Myers, the impressive Wyoming ATV trail system outside Mountain View is a new experience. Both work in the industry, Colby as manager of the new Morgan Valley Polaris shop in Mountain View and Clayson at their store in Evanston. Each has their preferred ride with Colby hitting the trails and Clayson preferring the snow. But from the start of today's trip, with its 50 inch trail markers, they knew this would be an ATV excursion worth remembering. It's been great. Actually, I don't get out on ATVs uh, like most people do. I'm actually a snowmobiler. So it's actually kind of cool to come see some of the terrain that you ride in the winter, in the summer. There's quite a few trailheads, probably about 20 miles just outside of Mountain View. Just outside of Evanston, about the same distance, you can go up into Bear River service. And that's a little bit about the same riding. You have to experience on a first-hand basis. It's a small area that people try to uh, make accommodating for everybody with the gas station, with restaurants. To bring your ATV up here to experience the, the scenery that we do offer, it's just not very far from the, the town. It's, it's pretty nice. Ponds dot the landscape, allowing views of wildlife everywhere you look. Bridges made specifically for quads open up new areas for exploration where riders aren't impeded by the rushing water. Meadows part the trees like a great green sea that you can drive through. While much of the forest has unfortunately been affected by pine beetle infestation, similar to areas in Colorado and Utah, the Dead Horse Trail still offers striking views and challenging riding that is becoming increasingly hard to find as groomed, wider width off-highway trails grow in popularity. Dead Horse offers picnic tables along the trail as well as bathrooms at the staging area. The trail itself is only 50 inches wide and quite rugged, so most side-by-sides are out and you better be ready to push yourself as you ascend to the heights of the Uinas. Mountain View welcomes visitors of all kinds who want to explore their backyard and find out what their state has to offer. Wyoming isn't known as a hot spot, hipster destination, and rightfully so. This land isn't about being trendy or fleetingly popular. It's about beauty, discovery, adventure, and finding something new in a place where you didn't really expect to find much of anything. That's a small town feel. It's country and kind of reminds you of the Old West. We've got people from Utah coming up almost every weekend during the summertime just to, to get away from the hustle and bustle down there to a more relaxing environment. Coming up here today I actually have a whole different concept and there's a lot more Wyoming that is to be offered to each and every one of us. From the beauty of Wyoming, I'm Stephen Human.